Hello everybody and welcome to a Zoomy game, Game Dev Week 4. Time certainly is flying as we approach, I think, the third month of development of the Azumi Vertical Slice. Uh, God, that's scary to think about. Um, not a lot has happened this week in terms of updates other than what I just showed you, which is cutscene. So we go into the arena here and I added those doors that come down and the, the, the cutscene that activates and all that stuff. If we go into the event sheet, the game events, we have a whole new group for cutscenes. And uh, we have tutorial cutscenes that I haven't done yet. And the arena cutscenes is the one you just saw. And the way these work is that there's a uh, a number variable on the camera and it just kind of iterates as it does certain actions and it triggers the next one they just keep going and going and going and then this big last one with all the text pops up and stuff uh this was made possible by construct 3's new tween behavior believe it or not up until like two weeks ago this program didn't have any sort of tweening at all how did it not have that? I don't know. So like up here, I was like desperately trying to make things animate with these cutscenes by kind of using a uh, 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 linear interpolation on every frame of animation while using some uh, variable comparisons. And it was not great. And I was running into a lot of trouble and it took the majority of the week to do the first half of these cutscenes. But then I updated to the beta which had the tweening and then the rest of it was super easy because I was I was trying to tween up here without tweens but then when I had tweens everything was fine uh, so the rest of them went pretty quickly and uh, you jump in and look at it again if you want but like the the idea here is that because uh, I explained this before and I think in the last week's update that you start in the tutorial kind of tunnel and this is going to teach you how the mechanics work. And you go through here, and then you exit out of this end of the tunnel, and then you come into the arena. And I was going to say I was going to have a little cutscene of the doors closing. And, well, that's what this is. So if we preview this layout again, you're coming through here. And then this tech stuff is just kind of a nod to Arc System Works, because I love those games. Like, an overly try-hard kind of... Uh, you know cast off the shackles of fate something overly ridiculous it doesn't make any sense and then when you kill all the guys I've set the variable just to two to make it quick in this demonstration but once all 50 go away the door opens back up you can go right through and then you're done uh, so there'll probably be an ending cutscene of some sort uh, that I have not made yet but that's the general idea there is how that's supposed to work and um, Another thing that was done this week, I got, I got text messages, I guess. Uh, another thing that was done this week is that I redid a lot of the, um, the attacks. Because I was having issues where the hitboxes would persist longer than I really wanted them to. They only should stay around for a frame or two, really, to check if there was a collision. And if not, immediately destroy themselves. Uh, but they were hanging around a bit longer until the actual attack animation finished and that made some weird collisions and things where like the sword would be at the end of the animation's arc but the hitbox would still exist so if an enemy ran into it after the fact it would take damage and it looked weird uh, another thing i was having problems with especially with the bigger enemies that have a more hp is that even though i would set collision events to only happen once because the box would stay around so long you could hit multiple times with one strike, which wasn't supposed to be how it works. So you could easily kill something by doing like five or six points of damage with one strike if you happen to land it exactly the right way. So that was dumb. So I went into here. Oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to find it quickly. Um, I think it's an enemy state hit. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here that, uh... yeah, right here. Uh, the the hitbox is immediately destroyed upon collision now, so it doesn't hang around if it makes contact with an enemy. And then if it's not, uh, it, oh, it disappears after it plays its animation, which is only a couple frames of just a static image. 
so it makes the hits and then i went and also changed the timing and stuff so just hits feel more natural now it's a very small thing but it was pissing me off so i decided to fix it uh but that's really it the cutscenes were a big big to do and uh i'm glad that they happened uh, there's a little bit of finagling and finessing with the the background and some of the tile map stuff nothing huge because the majority of the time was just getting all these effects set up um you might have noticed if you're the the per kind of person who just wants to immediately start playing the game is that there's no download link this week there's no new build even though clearly there is a, a new stuff and that is because the way it works right now is uh i've broken the respawn system by adding in these events if you die before you win uh because of the variable that controls those cutscenes, right now it doesn't reset so it doesn't restart the scene properly it kind of like sends you back in and starts the cutscene, but then can't finish them because all the values are fucked up uh, so if you die once the game breaks and I haven't fixed that yet I didn't bother fixing it because I could like go in there and change the variables and have them reset when the scene resets but there's no point in doing that because when you die I want to have it spawn like a game over menu so I could go back and fix everything to make the current like just reset the scene I have work right now but that would just be pointless because I'm gonna pull out that back out probably this week anyway so I figured I'll just skip the 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 build this week i know some people will probably be bummed about that but uh it just would have been extra work that i would I'd immediately just turn around and get rid of so that didn't really seem worth it so yeah that's where we are right now very short update this week um yeah we're getting there we're getting to the end uh it's almost done i mean the big problem was the tutorial tunnel part because there's going to be tons of little like text boxes and stuff that pop up here but now that i have the new beta version with the tween functionality it probably will make some of this a bit more manageable i'm going to start looking up things on how to make text boxes and stuff like that i already know how i'm going to trigger them i'll just have invisible trigger points like i've been doing for everything else like these uh and they'll just like I already have a system set up in the game event right here the camera has a boolean called cinematic and when it's disabled it just tracks the player the player's x and y coordinates and that's how it, you know the camera follows your movements and gameplay but when you uh flip the boolean to if it's on the camera can now be moved anywhere i want and since now i can tween things i can just tween the camera to move wherever i want and that'll control a lot of the cinematic stuff like the ones we just watched that's how it was all done so yeah excellent progress was made and uh yeah if you have any questions or concerns feel free to leave them in the comments um i apologize again for no build i will have a double build next week because it'll have two weeks worth of updates not just one but uh until next time i'll talk to you guys next week